Hey all, Cambams here. So what you're going to see today on the Corvette, which I like to call the Albatross, uh, problems that I think no other Corvette restoration guy has had. I asked on the forums and people are like, oh no, these things can't get stuck, there's too much play, it'll never happen. Like, okay, you don't know this car. But, um, so I go through and uh, I've now got a way that I'm um, able to oil down the, uh, the, the hood latch. And I've got a way that um, I'm going to be you know, digging in deeper. I am getting a, uh, a, a really cool scope. So I think this will be the best open your hood uh, demonstration ever uh, for people that have the normal problem where they just break a cable. Um, but other than that, uh, you know, I'm just moving along. Slowly, bit by bit, this thing is uh, coming back. And now I'm not even sure if I have to do the whole floor or not. If not, I can probably finish this in the next uh, month or two. So, with that, here comes the video. Okay, I know the thing is tilted, but um, this is how you need to open the hood. There's a little hole in here that I'm going to be fishing in. And I'm going to be trying to hit the latch that will allow the thing to pop up. Now on the Albatross here, I'm pretty sure this thing's going to be rusted like crazy, so I'm probably going to have to really go at it, but uh, hopefully not. But if uh, it's like the rest of the car, it's going to be rusty. <clears throat> so here's to uh, hopefully getting this out quick. Okay, after much trial and tribulation, I got these lovely seat foams and leathers out. The uh, things were so rusty they were just absolutely stuck in there. I get how this is supposed to be installed but my goodness I think the, I'm, I'm really hoping that uh, putting them on and installing them is going to be easier than getting them out. Anyway this is the way we're kind of looking in here now. I still have a little bit more, well, a little I say. I've got a lot more cleaning to do in here but uh, it's uh, actually getting better slowly. I figured uh, I want to wash the outside, but then I'm looking at the inside. I'm like, you know what? It looks better outside than it does inside. So let's start uh, gutting and getting stuff out. I think, was, you know, looking at it, it looks like everything is trash. But really, I, I believe a lot of this will clean up. Um, obviously, I need seats and a floor. Because, hello. <laughs> Lack of floor. But uh, after really looking at it, I, I think I can do um, just those uh, little floor buckets. And that will be... A lot easier because then I don't have to split the uh, car off the chassis. It could mean finishing it this year or finishing it next year. So that said, uh, I found this little mirror in here. I'm not sure what it's really for. I mean back in the 80s I know what people would have used it for but <laughs> I doubt that was it. Oh actually I just figured it out. It used to go on the uh, on the visor. Okay. In any event, just checking in uh, with, with, with a quick one here. Uh, I'm going to come back when this thing is, uh, well, sparkling clean? Joking. Uh, I'll come back when it's, you know, as good as I can get it. Okay, so my 13-year-old uh, boy is learning to use the angle grinder, and he did a pretty darn good job. He made me a tool here. What we're going to try doing with this is opening the hood. Uh, hopefully it fits. And not quite sure. It is really not a good way of uh, filming this. I can't even really see it, so there's that. This windshield is broken already, isn't it? Where? This one. I don't think it's broken. No? No. Or at least I don't see it. I don't know. You're like, I don't know, I'm going to have to break it to uh, do this. <laughs> well, no, I was just afraid I might break it. 
not that I'm going to break it to do this. But. Oh no, that's the the top part is um, tinted. Oh, it's like a lot a of cars are like that. I know, I know, but it's like a weird rainbow into it. That's not long enough. I don't have longer sheet metal, so. No, it's it's plenty long. That's not the problem. Thing that's supposed to move, but like everything else on this car, it seems like it might be frozen. Yeah. And this is actually, <laughs> dare I say, this is actually worse than the door thing, because at least the door thing I could see. I don't want to break the hood. <laughs> I don't, don't want to break the windshield. No, I definitely don't want to break the windshield. Well, the windshield wouldn't even really help. I'm just afraid of uh, that happening. All right, you know what I want to do? Yep. Take like that much off, like an inch and a half. All right. Why is this? Because I feel like it might be too long. Uh, all right. All right, get ready for uh, take two. Okay, while he does that, check this out. I found a tool in here. I'm used to finding tools in cars, and uh, you can kind of tell the... Uh, kind of owner that uh, had it before, but this one fits perfectly. It's a adjustable that is solid rust. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to make this come back. I'm going to just like soak it in some uh, so some PB and uh, we'll, we'll see if it'll actually work because that'd be great, you know, have a memento of this build. Okay, so I know I said I was going to have it totally clean, but well, no, um, I had to show you this. So I'm cleaning out the back of the car and I find this. And I'm like, that's weird. And then I find this. So apparently there was a can of something in the car and uh, this is what's left. So yeah, wicked, wicked rust in here. It's insanity. Okay, so unfortunately I didn't get to wash the outside today, but I got a lot done. I did uh, go through the whole interior. I'm not sure if this is going to work. It does work. Ha ha. That's cool. All right. So that has been, I guess, uh, sitting with the stuff overnight. Did good things for it. But the uh, car is cleaner than it's been since it's been here. I spent about an hour and a half vacuuming stuff and just cleaning out crap. And even in the back here, it's uh, got some uh, parts and tools and whatnot. But the majority of the trash is gone. Well, hopefully you can see something in there. I apologize. It got a little bit dark out while I was working today. But the uh, the other fun thing here is that the car uh, door is now aligned, so it's no longer sticking out funny. It might be a little bit high, but that's got nothing to do with me. Uh, um, maybe it's because it's on jack stands. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is uh, yanking these wheels off and uh, I'll be bringing it up to have these tires installed. And um, that should be something nice to have actual rubber on here because, I don't know, this stuff just is really, really scary. And uh, I wouldn't even want to tow it on these wheels, you know, if the car did roll. So that said, this is just a, uh, a quick... Uh, where we're at. Oh, the other thing is my, my uh, son had made me that really nice metal tool to uh, dig in there and I'm hitting the thing, but um, I actually looked at the one on this side here. You're not going to be able to see crap under there, but looking at this one, this one's frozen. So once again, I'm dealing with a frozen latch and um, I'm uh, going to order a boroscope, like a good one, uh, so I can actually see what I'm doing and I'm going to attempt to dismantle a thing through a small hole. Uh, so that should be interesting. And I'm going to see if I can't somehow video some of that. It's not easy because it's under the hood and everything, but uh, every time I've seen somebody open the hood on YouTube, it's been, well, afterward. Like, here's the hood open, here's how we did it. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Anywho, I'll be back. 
Okay, folks, I um, propped up the right side of the hood a little bit since this side was unlatched. And now looking at the latch, I think I know what my problem is. I'm reaching in there and I am uh, you know, trying to push down this uh, little thing over here. And uh, the problem is this side is totally frozen. Like I can't wiggle this or move it at all. So I think this is going to be just like the door only harder <laughs> because of the location of it. So what I've done is I've ordered a boroscope, a high-res or 1080p boroscope with a, a light. So hopefully I'll be able to uh, find a way of either oiling this thing or... Yeah, because this one doesn't turn either. Like I can't nudge it even a little bit. Or, uh, you know, get, get, get a way uh, to you know, get a screwdriver on it and actually start like bending it up or something like that. I'm definitely going to be getting a new one, I have a feeling. Anyway, that's the fun that I'm having today. Um, the car is now up on jack stands and the tires are up in the air. So, uh, next comes the uh, tires are coming off. Boy, these things have to be probably 35 years old now and uh, yeah the cool part is the front wheels they kind of roll the back wheels on the other hand nothing at all so I think it's actually both I think it's stuck in gear and I think the brakes are frozen so there's that but uh, I'll be getting into that very very soon <laughs> 